Hey, what's up guys, totally dubbed here, and I just got a request in um, for this, for Titanium Backup. It's a way of um, keeping your apps when you flash from different ROMs, um, and actually, even if you don't flash from different ROMs, something happens to your phone or whatever, you've got a backup on your internal SD card of all your apps. So, um, this is really useful, um, it can be found on the market for free, uh, there's also a paid version, but I've got the free version over here. So, um, Basically, what this allows you to do is to back up any app, be it system or you know, just a user app. So for example, this is how it happens. So you open up the app, you'll have overview over here, and I rarely look at anything else over here. I mean, you can even schedule backups, like you know, almost like an uh, external hard drive sort of thing uh, on a PC. But you know, regardless of that, this is what I do. I mean, literally, this is all I need. Click Batch, and it'll come up with a... Um, a list of array of things that you can do so um, it's good because it's kind of uh, color coordinated as well so you can tell what you want but um, for example if I want to back up my apps I, I put a run over here and over here I can select what apps I want to back up uh, if I don't want any that's fine I don't have to back them up and also uh, when I want to uh, back them up it just backs up everything uh, be it data and uh, the app itself so for example if you're coming from Froyo and you go from Froyo to Gingerbread for some reason, uh, well not for some reason, but if you if you are for some reason on Froyo is what I'm trying to say, and you do this, when you go and um, try and you know get the backup, so to find, so to speak, the restore missing apps, it will come up with app plus data, app only or data only. So what you're going to want to do is if you're coming from Froyo or a certain different gingerbread ROM or something like that, it's good to go for app only. Um, the only thing is with app only is that it won't save any data. For example, you've been playing Angry, Gr Angry Birds like a, a Angry Martian has been doing for about a month and um, and you've saved up all your data. You don't want to lose that data or else you have to start from scratch again. So you got app plus data. If you're like me and you couldn't care less, for example, your Facebook app or your Twitter app, and you don't care less of putting a password in again, then you just go for app only. App only ensures that you won't really have any problem, so to speak, with compatibility. For example, if the data has been um, saved in a Froyo-based ROM and you go into a gingerbread ROM, it might cause some conflicts because the uh, data was saved differently or on a different sort of um, firmware. So bear that in mind when you're um, running backups. So there you go, that's pretty much all there is to it. I mean, there's loads of options here and you can, you can just go through these um, and spend a whole day on looking at them. You can even uninstall apps, for example, which is quite easy. Um, and it, you know, you can even use uh, to d delete system apps. So it's quite useful. But um, all I really use it for is, as I said, if I want to back up, I press that button. If I want to restore, I click that button. That's the only two buttons I really use in this whole app. Uh, there's so many more features you could use. But I don't need to go to length for that. Um, it's just to show you the app. If you don't know already, that is. So um, I hope you've enjoyed this video. And uh, that's for Titanium Backup, which can be found um, from the market uh, for free. And you will need uh, super user permission. So if you're on a stock um, stock ROM, um, you will need super user permission. So you'll need to flash a kernel uh, to get a super user. Because Titanium Backup requires root. So yeah, bear that in mind. Right guys, hope you enjoyed that. Totally does that. Bye bye.